There is a real place called Iglesoro in Wales. This village is as long on rain as it's short on vowels. In 2015, it rained for 85 days in a row, just missing out on setting the British record, which was 89 days in Scotland in 1923. There is a reason why the British Isles are so wet. The prevailing winds carry moisture-laden air from the Atlantic onto the British Isles, especially Welsh hills. And as the air rises, it cools, losing its ability to hold as much water vapor. The water vapor condenses and falls as sweet, refreshing air. The point is that hills and mountains make rain, or to be more precise, they create the conditions which cause moisture in the air to condense and fall as rain. We have talked in the previous video about the proposed project to build an artificial mountain in the Netherlands for mostly entertainment, tourist and sport purposes. The insight of building an artificial mountain has whetted the appetite of the United Arab Emirates, but they want to do it to increase rainfall, simulating what it is in Wales. If you look at the Netherlands and the UAE, they both have an interesting history in geoengineering. The Dutch people have colonized the parts of the North Sea by building dams, reclaiming land even though most of the country is below sea level. And the UAE has developed artificial archipelagos, two artificial islands in the shape of a palm tree. Well, from my personal experience, a lot of people do not realize the immensity of Palm Island. It's massive, it has skyscrapers, water parks, and you don't even realize that you are on an island that was made by humans. It's a crazy achievement if you think about it, not long ago, we didn't even have mobile phones. Unlike the Netherlands, the UAE is actually very serious about building a mountain. They gave a $400,000 grant to experts in the University of Atmospheric Research to conduct a research into ideal size and location for the mountain. So, in the average year, the UAE receives less than 13 centimeters of rain, which just isn't enough to support their rapidly growing population, expats, and soaring standards of living. Water shortages are a serious threat in the UAE because it's basically a desert. So, the government has already been looking into less than orthodox methods such as cloud seeding. Cloud seeding is simply a method of artificially creating a cloud to produce rain. It's done by using planes that are fitted with special flares and loaded with salt crystals, magnesium and potassium and sodium chloride and fired into convective or warm clouds that have an updraft or rising current of air. The updraft then sucks up the salt crystals into the cloud and they attract tiny particles of water that collide, becoming heavier and then falling as rain. So in 2019, the UAE conducted 242 missions of cloud seeding, with each aircraft taking about 3 hours to target 5 to 6 clouds at a cost of $3,000 per operation. It's much cheaper than desalination plants. Desalinating 1 cubic meter of water from the sea costs around $60. Whereas the same amount of water extracted through cloud seeding costs just $1. And by building a mountain can solve the water problems of the UAE, specifically Dubai, in the long term. For example, the Sierra Nevada mountains average 20 cubic meter of water, and this supplies more than 60% of California's water to 25 million people and 3 million acres of farmland. If this project is going to take off, then this is how it's going to be. They would want to build a 2 kilometer high mountain somewhere close to the shore, where it's most humid. Water droplets evaporate in warm, moist air. Warm air is forced to rise due to the barrier of the mountain. Moisture condenses as the air cools at high altitude, forming clouds and resulting in rain. So water droplets soon hit high cold mountain ground and round downhill where the water can be collected. It would go on and on and on because coastal areas of the UAE are extremely humid because of high temperatures and an artificial mountain would leverage this humidity to generate water. It can solve water shortages of the country, but it may bring unexpected results like the rain shadow effect. The rain shadow effect has two parts. First, increasing precipitation on the windward side of the mountain, and the second, drying out the leeward side by dumping cold, 
dry, dense air and this air acts like a giant hair dryer on the leeward side of the mountain. It will significantly alter the local climate, even making tropical weather in the windward side, but leave the leeward side in a bad, bad place. The perfect example is again Nevada. Sierra Nevada mountains covered in snow and constant rains, but in the east of these mountains lies infamous and the hottest place in the US, Death Valley, and the vast empty desert. If the artificial mountain is actually built in the UAE, the temperatures in the leeward side would be a completely different beast than in the Death Valley, because average temperatures are already very high in the UAE, or it may leave as it is. There are a lot of problems like the financial side, logistics and supply resource requirements for this monstrous kind of project, but the UAE is the country that built indoor ski resort in the middle of a desert, Palm Islands, highest building in the world, forests of skyscrapers and many more. You can expect insane things like this from them. If they want to build it, I firmly stand by my suggestion, they should do it out of plastics that are in the oceans. It's a free resource where the byproduct of it is clean oceans. If you want to know about this more, we talked about this in a building an artificial mountain in the Netherlands video. Here is it if you want to check it out. Well, that's pretty much it. What do you think about this project in the UAE? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Support channel on Patreon and subscribe not to miss upcoming episodes.